kind of interesting how much a four hour drive means to the foliage. There's practically no leaves on the trees here. When I left home yesterday, the trees still had probably 60 or 70% of their leaves. And here, there's none. But the weather's balmy. It's not <laughs> November weather, that's for sure. And I'm actually kind of thankful for that. Not that I would mind, you know, sub 10 degrees Celsius would be fine. But this is like 12. <laughs> but I guess you can compare it to a spring day. But I'll take it. Now it looks, looks like I found a camp spot, an old camp spot. There's a old fire pit there. Uh, pretty flat. A nice view of the lake with some southern facing sun. But uh, nobody's been here in a while. There doesn't seem to be a whole lot of firewood. Ground some up back. So I'm kind of tossing the idea around in my head where I should be. I want to be able to fish from shore, but I can't do that here. There's too much vegetation, it's a little bit shallow. It's not a deal breaker, but last time when we fished, we fished on the south side and it drops off really nice. You could just run a worm out and drop it, which is a technique I'll show you a little bit later. So anyway, that's a possibility here. And then the other one is, I scouted out actually, last time I came, I scouted out a spot on the other side, but uh, it's not ideal. You have to climb up a pretty steep hill and uh, it's pretty overgrown, but the, uh, the plus side is that there's tons of firewood. I don't have to work for firewood, but I'll have to work up and down the hill. Though I can just run down and set a line and leave it and let the uh, worm do the work for me. So maybe I'll take a paddle across and have a peek over there and then I'll decide between this spot and the other one. I'm up on the other side, uh, paddled across. So now I'm on the south side. And uh, I think I'll try here. Uh, if it doesn't work out, I can always move. It's not that big a deal, but I probably won't. I'll just, you know, spend the day someplace else and just come back here. But uh, we fish, we fished at the bottom of this hill here. Uh, but yeah, climbed up this hill. So I'm up on the ridge, but it's flat here. The woods look so much different with all the leaves down. It's so bizarre. Don't usually come camping in November. So anyway, uh, yeah, I'll just throw the tent up here and uh, maybe, I don't know, we'll see. Have a fire up here somewhere and then probably a fire down at the lake if I want to carry wood down there. It's not much wood. It's pretty sparse down there. You can see it's a little bit of a different view. The lake down below. But I'll still get enough sun. The leaves down I'll get and I'll still get the sun, the benefits of the sun anyway. And there's quite a bit of deadfall, although it's pretty wet. Although it's to be expected this time of year. So anyway, yeah. I think we'll make do with that. For now. I 
don't know if you can see that into the sun or not, but I'm doing a little bit more exploring, trying to keep things in order. I'll talk about that in a second, but uh, this lake's on the map, and I didn't realize it was so close, but it's a numbered lake. It's really a pond. I don't know if you can see over my shoulder or not, but it's tiny. It's lake number number. I'm not going to tell you what it is. Obviously, I don't tell anybody my lakes, right? Pretty standard. But uh, it might be a little brookie lake, brookie pond. It's kind of interesting. It's right here, like two steps away. So I kind of changed my mind about where I want to camp. But I um, came down that hill, almost wiped out, and did a little bit more walking around and looked at another spot, which I didn't like. But I like, like I'm just over here, just a little, the lake's this way. So, I actually unloaded my stuff already, so I gotta go back and get it. I'm all out of order. But, uh, if I camp over here, then I can mess around a little bit more. Instead of just, you know, my chill fish idea. It'll be chill fish, tiny adventure. Drag over here to this little pond and maybe I'll try a fish in there and see what happens. Maybe some of those rainbows snuck over because there's this creek, supposed to be a creek that connects these two water bodies. So you never know, one could, a couple fish might migrate up there. But like I say, it could be a brookie thing, in which case I'll have to catch and release, but still good stuff to know. So yeah, anyway, there you go. Other lakes right there. So it's nothing for me to walk back and forth and it's flatter here. I'm not going to kill myself. And uh, that other spot to fish is just up the way, so when I want to fish, I'll just paddle over and sit there for a bit. Or uh, leave a line up, and I've got a trick for that too. I've got a little bell I can use. So, and I'll be able to hear it if it's quiet. But you can see here behind me, it's pretty flat right here. I'll have lake access. So yeah, I might just do that then. So the main reason I was coming out this way to begin with is I'm really trying to do things in order and I have a little bit of a plan in my head as to how this is all going to go down. But of course, not everything works out perfectly. So I've got, um, I've got a minnow trap and uh, I'm going to be using worms and minnows if I can catch them. So I've been just going around, actually there's a pile of them right behind me. So I'm going to set this trap up, if I can get this in there, frame there, so i got a piece of bagel and throw that in the trap. And I just bought this trap for this trip because I wanted to buy, I wanted to try um, minnows on a float and just let it sit. And let the minnow do the work for me. So I've got here minnow trap set up with a bagel in it and then I'll add a rope here and I'll tie that in and drop it down. Yeah. There's the minnow trap with the bagel in it and we're just in shallow water here and I've got a rope All tied up to a branch and just leave that in there. So there's the minnow trap there and uh, I'll just leave it like that for a couple hours while I set everything else up and then I've got a bucket here to store them once I get them. Okay.